Good morning, everybody. I am your sister's Chris. It is Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. I'm kind of excited, man. I don't even know why I'm just excited. Another day on Earth. Yeah. Good day. So, fire away. Uh, I think pretty much everybody's been in this predicament. Okay. Not really a predicament, but I got a question asked me the other day. Fire. And it started out with, I was out Saturday night. And this person was buying me drinks. Okay. <clears throat> Should I go for it? The catch. This person works with me and is a superior. I'm going to have to ask some questions after this. <laughs> after it's over? No, no, right. Oh. No, no, I'm going to have to ask some questions like, is this a woman? Telling you this? In, in, in this? in this case, it is a male Okay. Yeah. saying this. Okay, so he's getting drinks bought. By the woman. By the boss. Who is a superior. Okay, I'm, I'm with you now. Should I go for it? And I went, absolutely not. I said for two reasons. What happens if it doesn't work out? She, or if even if it switched, can make your life a whole lot more miserable than you can make theirs. I agree. And just you have to be in the in the workplace together all the time. Well, this was this go for it like go for it like a Saturday night go for it or go for it like a relationship. I think right it. now it's just to go for it, bam bam. But still, what if what if the superior? Just wants to bam bam every once in a while, and you get tired of it, and say, you know, I, I can't do this anymore, and the superior gets tough, upset. Tough scenario. S there's there. enough uh, fish out there. Fish in the sea, my dad. Yes, right? it's a that tough scenario. I would say, pass it up. Now, coming from two guys back in the day, would not have passed that up. I promise you. I. We'll bet you our whole fortune and foundation of everything we got. Two people I know would have went for it. You get all this. Get but, all this. but you're absolutely right. You know <clears throat> But now. we didn't take the time to ask somebody with a little more experience. No, that's what I'm saying. Because we knew it all. And I would feel, me, we're different in... How we used to, how we would have approached this situation. I would have said, "Hey, are we sure? I'm ready. Are we just gonna, we just gonna screw and that's it? Because I don't want nothing." Chris is different than me, so either way, we probably would have got bitten. It's just mine would have got matter probably faster because <laughs> I'd have been more of a, of a dick. There, there are rules in most workplaces. The not the beauty, I guess it is the beauty, is we have really never worked for anybody since our early, 92. early 20s. Nice, yeah. Since so Paris. we hadn't had a chance to be in a lot of these situations, but there are fratten, what is it called? Fratinization. Fratinization rules in most workplaces. We've even had it at our places. After, Just, after me and Stephanie hooked up. Oh, we didn't have it in Red Sea. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, I mean, oh yeah, backyard. Yeah, I'm saying cinema too. and yeah. backyard yeah. and that kind of stuff. We we try, 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 try to we know nix the, it because we know the drama. it only ends up bad. We know the drama. <clears throat> oh lord. Because let's do this. Drama. Let's add some long hours and some alcohol and I'll need some more tip money. Yeah, let's so add that flirt. to it. I'm gonna flirt a little bit. So, but for me, uh. And this probably is bad, but if Stephanie wouldn't have slept with me, we would have fired her. No doubt. So, I mean, it's got to. I mean. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's, you know. I already had her papers drawn up. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she would cave. <laughs> I wanna, that's, a, that's a freaking great deal. I want to know what would you do, and especially from the man side. That's what I, That's a whole different deal of. You know, the woman could be like, well, I ain't going to take advantage of me, and this could happen. And the guy, on the other hand, ain't got the upper hand. That is a great, that is a great, we want your opinion. What would you do? We already told you what we would do. Now, 
wouldn't mess with it. Then I'd have screwed up. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, have you ever thought about leasing a car? No. That's the new thing now. I believe it. Cheaper payments. Right. Really nothing to worry about. Totally agree. Especially if you continue to lease with that same place. Miles don't matter, things like that. And I know Alan Samuels pre-owned and, and Fiat has that program. Because Nathan hit me up when that new Alfa Romero came out and went, man, you need to come down here. And I went, dude, I got a car. So let me ask you this. Is it like rent? Like, if, like <clears throat> I rent. If you are somebody who wants, if, if you are our buddy who's going to have something new all the time. Totally get it. Totally know where you're going. Might as well lease. Might as well lease. If you're going to drive it till the wheels fall off, buy it. Buy it. I get it. You would drive it till the wheels fall yeah. off. I would probably lease. end up being I, somebody who would lease I, because I like something new. new. All the, yeah. yeah, I like that. That's a good idea. So anyway, there our sponsor day looks like. I got I, you. Got them up over here. Two six five six eight six eight. Nathan Stanley's our contact over there. Hey, I'm sure he's not the only one you can talk to, but uh, for us, go talk to Nathan. Yeah, unless you know. Somebody. At Alfa Romero, that new one right there across from yeah. the marketplace. But that new Alfa Romero. They got a lease program on it, and it's not that expensive. You think Alfa Romero, you think expensive. It's not that expensive, and it is a bad-ass car. I just kept hearing Alfredo sauce. Yes, I figured you did. I was like, Alfredo sauce, Alfredo. Speaking of Alfredo sauce, well, you threw that in there for perfectly for me. Today at the backyard, chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes for a measly Ten bones. Every time I hear Alfredo, I think of chicken fries. I, I don't know. How do you Maybe not? Maybe y'all don't, but I do. How do you not? Maybe I'm, I I'm so with you there. I'm going to go talk about this tomorrow. We're okay. going to talk about this tomorrow. Binge watching. Be, be ready, because I got something to talk about. Binge watching. Okay. Turn into your, your cell phone lately. Binge. The, the thing that the cell phone did, binge watching is doing. Binge watching it. Yeah, I totally agree. Talk about it tomorrow, though. Until tomorrow. Get down there and see Nathan Stanley and our uh, friends at Alan Samuels Fiat. Get out in the backyard and have you some mashed potatoes, chicken fried steak with gravy for Woo. $10. I am Russ. This is Chris. And we are out of here.